Making news this week are planets Jupiter and Uranus, and the auroras hit prime time on the web. First up, planet Jupiter. It's the closest it's been to Earth since 1951 and won't return this close again until 2022. This makes it a beautiful target to see with telescope, binoculars, or just with the naked eye. Look for Jupiter rising in the east just after sunset, climbing high in the southern sky in the overnight hours. With a pair of binoculars, you'll be able to pick out the four main moons surrounding Jupiter. And with a small telescope, you'll be able to see the cloud band of Jupiter and the great red spot a giant hurricane three times the size of the Earth. Now joining Jupiter will be the elusive planet Uranus. Normally very hard to spot, it's going to be made easy because it's parked right next to Jupiter for the next few months. Look for Uranus just to the upper left of Jupiter. In a pair of binoculars, you should see both planets. Now remember, while Jupiter is 600 million kilometers away, Uranus sits at a whopping 2.8 billion kilometers away from Earth. Now for those armchair astronomers out there, there is an amazing new project launched by the Canadian Space Agency called Aurora Max. This is an online observatory based in the city of Yellowknife looking at auroras up in the skies above. It's a camera that takes a picture every 10 seconds, produces a beautiful time-lapse video that you can check out each and every day. For more stargazing information, visit my website, thenightskyguide.com.